uh, your next comedian is very funny. He's actually going to be doing a uh, full motion video key in panel room three later today. So when you're done with this, maybe that. Sorry, they don't seem into it. <laughs> You've also seen him on Channel Awesome and also around the Chicago area. Please give it up for Ron Muhammad. Magfest, how are we doing here today? <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. I, uh, I see that the front row has now been uh, filled up, which is unfortunate for you because now I'm going to start smashing watermelon. So let's go this way. <laughs> anyway, um, since this is Magfest, I might as well just get this out of the way. <laughs> My people, all right, that's what I'm talking about here. Um, I just want to thank Noah for that lovely intro there. Um, the last time I was brought up on stage, uh, I was told, uh, the, the way that they described it was, uh, coming up next is one of Chicago's top audience members in the entire city. And um, <laughs> it's almost like being recommended for a doctor and hearing, uh, yo, you gotta try out my doctor. He has been sick so many times, it's not even funny. <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, I'm kind of new to comedy. I've only been doing this for about a year or so, so um, I um, usually do not get paid in money. Um, <laughs> more seasoned comedians get paid in things like, oh, sorry, actually, uh, uh, less seasoned comedians like me get paid in things like food or comps or exposure. Uh, I know you have gotten paid in booze. That's right, I get booed right off the stage, yes. And uh, <laughs> you're gonna fault me for a pun? Come on, here. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wear this, uh, not just the scarf, but the jacket and the hat and all that. Thing. Uh, I wear this every day. Um, and sometimes I get uh, called out by people who say that I look like a particular character. And sometimes they put the word black right in front of it there. So I've gotten things like uh, Black Indiana Jones or um, Black Inspector Gadget or uh, Black Al Roker or... Uh, <laughs> Um, I was taught sex ed in school. I'm glad those people that are walking in the background are hearing this. Um, I was taught sex ed in school, and one of the things that was taught uh, was abstinence, a method that nobody practiced, except me. Uh, <laughs> I actually lost my virginity way after college, so I didn't only practice abstinence, I mastered abstinence. <laughs> Uh, I flew in here yesterday, and this is an absolute true story. Um, I flew in yesterday, and I managed to, uh, it was one of those choose your own seat sort of deals there. So I chose a seat, I was trying to get myself, uh, and I, I tried to get myself in the seatbelt, and I couldn't fit. Very embarrassing. So I asked the, uh, the flight attendant, could I please get a seat extender? And they said, no, you can't do that for your particular seat. You got to move to another seat. That's the last time I'm going to sit in the co-pilot seat. I'll tell you that much right here. Um, <laughs> I know that I'm fat, I realize this. I mean, I, I, I'm a person of size, which is like tw a 2017 term for a fat tub of goo. And uh, I've, <laughs> I've actually recently learned there's a weight limit on skydiving. Uh, and it turns out that I'm over that limit. So not only am I too fat to fly, I'm too fat to fall. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see here. Um, People go up to me and ask, Farad, what are you doing in my house? No, uh, people go up to me, <laughs> people go up to me and ask, Farad, what sort of name is that? And I tell them, well, it's an Arabic net word that means obligatory. I'm an adjective. <clears throat> uh, it's a little bit different than some of the other names that are out there. For example, Robert means shimmering fame. Douglas means dark river. My name means required by law. <laughs> Uh, my full name is Farad Elijah Muhammad. I'm named after two founders of the Nation of Islam. Thanks, Mom. And uh, that's, uh, that actually has a lot of weight to it there. It's almost like a Christian with the name Jesus, or a uh, Scientologist with the name Elron, or uh, a Calvinist with the name Hobbes, or... Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm actually an atheist now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, one of the things that have uh, proven that there is no God was this recent election, and uh, <laughs> I won't get too political, but I know that no loving God 
would grant us these sorts of candidates that we were given last year. I tell you, it was just, it was just, it was just an odd bunch. And um, I will say this: the, being a Chicago Bulls fan, I see the last year's election, last year's general election, as like an NBA championship game between the New York Yankees and the Cobra Kai. <laughs> I have no idea how either team got there, and I wanted both teams to lose. Uh, <laughs> I am laughing too much at my own jokes. But anyway, um, <laughs> so uh, now we have an upcoming president that will be probably tweeting our nuclear codes. That's always fantastic. Um, although I'm pretty sure that the uh, chief of staff will not give him the real nuclear codes. I'm almost expecting to see a tweet that says, check it out, I got the latest codes. It's up, up, down, down. <laughs> Left, right, left, right, BA start. Hashtag you. <laughs> um, let's see here. Sorry. <laughs> I bought an Atari Jaguar voluntarily. And uh, the reason for that was because I never really owned an NES. And I'll, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to uh, tell you the whole story here. Um, my mom wanted to get me a video game system, but she did not want me to be distracted from my homework, so she wanted me to also get a computer. So she got me something called the Atari XE video game system. Does anybody remember the system? Ooh. Even in MAGFest, the festival of video games, nobody's heard of the system. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, it's, a, it's this mutant hybrid computer video game system. And um, after that, and the reason that she did that was because she wanted me to focus on the computer and to get the video games kind of out of my system. And so after, th and so after that, I became a huge fan of Atari. And I became a fan of Atari at a very weird time. Uh, it was after it was innovative, but before it was considered retro. I was a fan of Atari when it sucked, and um, <laughs> I got lots of flack from people in school, and now I'm seeing people all around here wearing like Atari t-shirts and all that, and I'm just going, where were you guys when I was 12 years old? <laughs> um, also during that, and so um, not only did I pay for the Atari Jaguar for like $149, which in 2017 dollars is, way too much for a Jaguar. I also, <laughs> um, I also got like newer games for the Jaguar when they came out. So it was like 50 or $60 games. I even got like a limited edition version for about $100. So this whole thing about getting video games out of my system completely backfired. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I kind of lost, I think I've lost all of you. So I'm gonna go into another subject. Um, um, as, as mentioned before, I do work on Channel Awesome, and one of the shows that I was on was uh, the much-loved and uh, 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 celebrated television show Pop Quiz Hot Shot. Uh, <laughs> pity applause, thank you very much. And so um, during that time, um, we, I, I remember that there was this one contestant. Uh, those of you who have seen it probably remember him. Uh, he dressed up as uh, the character Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Uh, the show came out when I was 15, so I have no idea which Ed he was. But um, <laughs> dur uh, but uh, the thing is that if you want to talk about method acting, this guy was a definite method actor. He would put Daniel Day-Lewis to shame. And uh, he not only portrayed Ed on the show, he would then start portraying Ed outside of the show, at lunch, talking to all of us in that very, very hefty voice and all that there. And it just got to the point where one of the, the crew members, probably probably the nostalgia critic or something like that, said, uh, you're going to have to stop that, or else um, one of us is probably going to have to punch you in the face. <laughs> um, anyway, I think, I, I think that's about it for me. So thanks very much. Really appreciate it there. My hosting area is way too far in the back. Yes, yes, <laughs> I have yes. to make this run. Uh, thank you so much. Give it up for him one more time. It's now time for the obligatory, hey, if I want to shuffle around time. So if you need to move, now's the time to do it. If you want to try to increase your real estate and move forward or hide behind the podium or the post there, now is the time. What's going on, man? Not much. <laughs> did I say your name correctly? Yes, you did. Oh, I was so afraid. Oh, I'm sure you... <laughs> I'm sure... Does that get butchered a lot? It does, yeah. You're not the first. You certainly won't be the last. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been called things like uh, Fard, Fiard, Far uh, Farad, Tyrone. It's, it's all over the same place. <laughs> so just... Tyrone. Tyrone, yes. Perfect, perfect. 
Yes, got, shuffle in. <laughs> there was actually a point where um, I worked at a call center, and I actually just decided to give myself a fake name. Oh because yeah. It was because because my voice sounds a lot like an announcer, so they thought they were talking to a. I, they they thought I was an answering machine originally, and then eventually they they tried to just, they would just call me like Rob or Rod or something like that because they re couldn't really understand what my name was. Yeah, so, yeah. It's, it's a lot easier than be like, no, you need to understand this before. What were you yeah. selling? <laughs> I wasn't selling anything. These are. Are you these just are, calling people? No. These, <laughs> This is a customer service line. Me, Farad. Farad. <laughs> Farad, Greg. It's Greg. <laughs> no, actually, this is a customer service line, so people were already angry calling. Oh, me. that's the best. <laughs> I'm not going to help you until you say my name right. Precisely. Yeah. yeah. So I just adopted the name Roger because it just it was. Yeah, like, Roger. Not a lot of people can mess that up. Precisely. It doesn't yeah. sound like any other names. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been doing comedy? About a year and a half, you said. About a year and a half. Yeah. How's the Chicago scene? Chicago seems very good. I mean, there's a lot of uh, experiment, experimentation with all different sorts of new formats, and uh, there's also like you know well-established comedy clubs out there like mm -hmm. Zanies and the Laugh Factory and all that, and they and you know they they do excellent excellent business there. Yeah. Awesome. And what did you do at Channel Awesome? Um, well, I well I still do uh, some computer computer graphics effects. I uh, I did I actually was one of the people in Pop Quiz Hot Shot. I've appeared in a couple of nostalgia critic videos and also do cameos with other producers all throughout the site. What, what were you nostalgic about? Uh, I was nostalgic about uh, a lot of the movies that Doug covered, but um, <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love Doug. <laughs> all right, give it up for him one more time, for Muhammad. I think everybody's properly shuffled about. Indeed. See, no, no, the new plan is I'm going to let the comedian deal with the mic stand, <laughs> and I'm going to use this mic as a host. Yeah. <laughs> no, you fix it. Well, no, you take it. All right. <laughs> Just going to double up. I'm extra loud now. It is really hard. <laughs> Was that that hard? Was that that hard for you to do? Is that really that hard? 